Uh, here's here's the new motor home. She's a 1983 Kings Highway Chevy 454 and a P30 chassis. It's a new project. Tandem rear axle. All fiberglass. Just quality. <laughs> Needs the floor put in. We're going to be putting some vinyl something or other cheap in it. So, yeah, it's an 83. Big time. But yeah, so we got a 454 um, with the ridiculous amount of emission stuff that's going to get removed. Quadrijet that, yeah, that doesn't run good right now. But yeah, this thing's fancy. All the dash is all leather and everything. That's the air for the airbags and all that. It's got got all the gauges, dual fuel tank. That's the hydraulic jack controller. Battery cut off. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got a spotlight on the roof with a joystick, which still still works. It's just got got all the features. We got the two chairs there, a table. The couch pulls out into a bed has a broken clock, indoor outdoor temp, kitchen, built in blender, all that good stuff. All the standard standard motorhome junk. It's a dual rear bed. And the bathroom's in the back. But yeah, this whole thing's gonna, gonna clean up real real nice. We just gotta get the floor in it. Clean everything else up real good on it. And uh, the outside's all gel coat so it'll clean up brand new again. This won't be like a restoration, but it'll be pretty good. It's dual AC, that one turns on, the compressor won't kick on. This one doesn't turn on. There's a few electrical issues. There's a, there's a mouse there. And then the heat, <laughs> and the heat. And it has dual heaters too. There's a big heater, heater under there on that side. Uh, and then a little heater there. Central, central vacuum too, which is hooked up. But yeah, the hot water tank. Uh, wants to light when you turn on the fridge works microwave doesn't seem to have any power we're gonna fix that all of this stuff looks like it'll work came with a phone it Qua also works quality flip phone free <laughs> it's got a bunch of Alaska, Alaska stickers on it so it probably came from there yeah it just needs a little bit of a little bit of help but everything works blender works too Huh? Yeah, dude. Are, are you recording? No, he is. I'm cold recording. start. Cold start. Cold start. Yeah, here we go. Here oh, we it's go. not an old start, but it is a cold start. It's 22 degrees out. 454. Okay, King's Highway, we, we got her parked. <laughs> yeah, so I blew reverse out of that. Uh, no, there, there's the Turbo 4, it's the Turbo 475. I blew reverse out of it trying to move that thing uh, the other day to a different part in the field. Um, suddenly fell, which is weird, but the band's pretty well this is the reverse span. It's pretty well worn. There's n almost no material left. And that's one of the older style ones, I think. But I got a new Kevlar band for it. Um, and I turned this. So this was had pretty deep grooves. And I know the older ones were grooved, but it was pretty bad. I tried to turn it down in the lathe a little bit, but can see the those spots there it was the metal it was super hard right there where it glazed it over and it didn't work all that great so I had to grind use a grinder and grind those spots down a little bit just it, it's not perfectly flat but it's plenty close enough this will wear into it um yeah everything else was good uh they had a date and a signature on the top 
uh, December 3rd, 1988, so I assume it was rebuilt then. The thing was only five years old, but the uh, clutches and steels are all brand new looking, I guess. I mean, they're good, so I'm not going to replace them. I just got new seals and everything and waiting on them. Uh, this tail housing isn't very common. Uh, they only came on these 475s with the with the uh, rear drum parking brake, I believe. This does, though, this, this does have a park in it still, which I, I don't know, kind of not common to have both, but this has both because this wasn't the auto park one on the newer, newer style. So, this is what that drum brake goes into. That, uh, that shaft there is what goes on to that. Um, the bearings were fairly uh, tired out. This one was kind of okay. But this one was pretty rusty. I don't know, that seal must have not been working good. It's it's really crunchy. If you it's real crunchy. So new bearing. I got one one new bearing. I'm waiting on another one to show up tomorrow. They were kind of hard to find. So these were L09 bearings with NDH bearing, which GM actually owned. Um, and they don't cross reference to anything, but I measure them. It's a 6009. So I got that and another and an SKF one coming that we're off of eBay. So, yeah, everything else is good in the thing, though. And the reason these are the 475, I don't I can, I can show it. It's because the gears are straight cut instead of helical. That's what makes them special. All of this. And everything so that's why this part because this is only like 40 50 bucks used for a standard th 400 or 4l80 and uh these are not 40 or 50 dollars so yeah this cleaned up all brand new nice and everything so just waiting on my gaskets and we'll toss the thing together and throw it back in and test drive it Looks like the torque converter was like brand new in there. I don't know what was done, why there was a date written on it, but something was done to it, so I don't know. So getting there, you got the other front band as well. Yeah, I accidentally ordered a a uh, 700R4 rebuild kit, so yeah. Had to send that back and we're getting a new one. Alright, so I've been doing a little work to this thing. I, you can see that the floor is dirty right now. Because of uh, the whole, had to pull the tranny out, <laughs> in back and forth, you know, in, in the mud, in the field, pulling the tranny out, not fun. Either way, I uh, got some vinyl tile floor in here. Um, I almost have it all done. I got to get one more piece of trim to finish that. But everywhere else is done. Bathroom, I just got to do something. In the, I started to cobble it pretty bad back there. I'm just going to make something that was across behind there and yeah it all came out pretty nice she looks much nicer than what that old carpet was i just gotta make a better plug for this because uh this is a table that sits in there but whatever uh yeah i use the carpet cleaner on all the furniture and junk and all this is all nice now and all the carpet up here i did that as well uh, I replaced the plugs and wires on this thing. Uh, I rebuilt the carb, which is a quadrajet, which I like them things. Rebuilt that. Um, hooked up the old AC compressor, which we're going to use for a uh, onboard air system, basically. So I got to put a tank in here, um, and it's a I forget what it is York, I think a York style. It's not a York uh, brand unit but it's that style it's a piston uh, compressor so that works um new drivers up there i gotta get a radio for it um the timing on this was two degrees i uh set a uh, base timing was two degrees i set it to like eight ish now so a little better <laughs> less emissions era um yeah everything else works i don't remember if i showed it at all but Everything, everything else works. It's it sort of cleaned it up. It's a mess again, but yeah, it's all quality. It's you know, I got it's in pretty good shape. I still got to get the refrigerator working. The heaters are all set. 
everything's cleaned out um underneath everywhere um back inside of places because there were mice in here but it's all clean now so she's gonna be a nice Nice camper, but it's just been giving me problems. I get the motor all running good, and I blow reverse out of it. That train, this thing's only got 77,000 miles, but that's really pretty high for a motor home. I mean, I only I only expect the life of these things to be 100k, really. So, yeah. Tired out 454. I don't know what kind of... Might do something to the motor eventually if this doesn't work good once we get into the hills, but eh, she's all right. Okay, I finally got some uh, parts in. I got uh, bearings. I got one new one in there uh, right now. I got a press. Well, I don't have a press, but put this other bearing in. There's a spacer that goes in between them. Get that in. Um, the tail housing is done. That's all brand new. My uh, rebuild kit will be here. I got a filter, because so apparently the kit didn't come with one. And then this is ready to go back together and maybe get this tranny back in tomorrow. Go for a little test drive here. All right, we uh, got some of the stuff in. We got the reverse band in, which was the reason for taking this thing apart, which is right there along the outside. Um, I guess I can show. So there's a screwdriver in there. It's probably hard to see it, but that the servo pushes that and locks that drum up. So it doesn't let that out, that drum spin when it's in reverse. And also third gear and um, engine braking in first, I believe it does. So going back together, I'm trying to remember how it, how it went together. Because this thing's like half... It's all mix and match, so some, some things are thrust bearings, some things are, have Torringtons in it, and some of the stuff is new and some of the stuff is old style in this because these 475s were weird for some reason, so yeah, trying to figure it out. i got a few more parts to go in.